Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to the 100 mod Banner Lord Let's Play. We are diving back in after some insane battles, and today's episode is going to get just as crazy. We are currently fighting over 61,000 soldiers in the form of the Karadian Alliance of the Azerai and the Empire Factions. It's definitely been a hard war so far, but we are going to continue to persevere, defend our settlements. Also, everybody we are utilizing now in the kingdom or in my army is actually part of my uh, clan as well, which is really, really cool. So for example, you know, every single one of these characters is, is you know, part of my clan is knighted by me, has lordships within my kingdom and that basically means that they are you know funding their own armies they're building up a little bit of honor and glory so hopefully they are going to be one of the uh really really kind of strong parts of my kingdom when i decide to form it which is something we are definitely planning on doing in the near future uh maybe not this episode maybe not the next but you know very soon i do want to go independent i think we're gonna have to spend a little bit more time building up and conquering maybe this castle and this castle um to really fortify our positions and maybe even this castle as well down here in the south uh, by conquering all of those we should have like a nice little buffer for our major cities and that should provide us with some pretty good strength also of course everybody else needs to level up as well which is going to be really important if this an army of 160 gets dragged in here i'm 100 percent gonna fight this yeah we can do this i think with their 170 and my my 470 we can fight this battle and just start this episode off with an absolute banger okay cool let's set up our formation then so we're gonna have our main line uh do we just go with one infantry block here we don't really have a lot 150 infantry honestly is not too much i honestly wouldn't mind another archer line to be honest like have two archer lines like our main line which is like this i'm gonna have a secondary line that we're gonna use like outflank or like this you know, this can be like used to outflank let's do that i normally go with like multiple infantry but i think this will be good Okay, question is, are they going to come at me? Okay, let's just get our cavalry. I'm going to try and micromanage our cavalry off to this left flank. I basically need to, like, win this left flank. And then we'll be fine. Like, win this flank. And then we're going to bring our archers. We're going to swing our archers around this flank. And, uh, yeah, get them. Let's get our infantry into a shield wall. But, obviously, a long shield wall. Cavalry go to the flank. Our side archers, yeah, our side archers get, get like here and just defend from here. I mean, if anything, we want to get these archers into a shield all as well. Okay, cavalry engage. Go, go, go. Try and take them down. It wasn't really much of a runner, but we are winning. Okay, just charge into these guys now. Because this is what's going to be scary. It's going to be hard to get my crossbows. It's going to be hard to get these crossbows and archers like around the flank. Because of the amount of cavalry they have. But they are doing a good job at, like, kind of just keeping the enemy at bay a little bit. Yeah, like, how am I supposed to get around the flank when there's this insanely massive cavalry fight going on? Because the idea is to get them, like, around here. I guess we can try. And we just keep them in a tight formation and just try and keep them safe. Oh, oh god damn. Wrong one, wrong one. You guys go back. It's number two. I need to move, yeah. Like, I want to get them around here and then, like, round here. It's going to a line formation as well. How's our infantry holding? This is going to be a big test for our infantry as well. Let's get that guy out from my flank. Slice him down. Harass their back. The archers are scary as well. So let's keep on pushing. We need this flank to come around. And obviously we need to also scare off all their uh, horse archers as well. That they have all camel archers. Whatever you want to call them. Okay. 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 We can't go into loose form. Oh, nice. I took him off his camel before he was about to slam into my ranks. Keep them safe. Keep them safe. I need the crossbows to keep on pushing. Keep on coming, boys. We need to either hit that or we need to hit this. Luckily, our infantry are doing a great job as if the shield ball is holding. And that's all I can ask for, honestly. I mean, I could ask for a lot more. I could ask for like a million pounds, but... For now, this will... Ooh, he was swinging his big old mace. For now, that will do. Oh, unless his arm gone. I'm going to tell my infantry now to uh, to start advancing. So engage the enemy. That means they'll be a bit more aggressive. And they'll start pushing. Our crossbows here. Are, I should hopefully be split firing as well, which is nice. And they're also hitting their missile line. And there you go. Their infantry are falling back now. Probably to regroup. But we should be able to take out a few more of them. Let's keep on pushing. The infantry are now being a bit more aggressive. But we need to be careful. There are a lot of archers here. 
We've got our own archers coming in and uh, yeah, causing some decent issues as we take down two people with one swing. Nice. Okay, infantry are now pushing. They are still in shield wall. And there you go. They're starting to fall back now. Which means our cavalry should be able to start harassing them. So let's take our cavalry now. Which is surprisingly still alive. Normally all my cavalry at this point is completely gone. But they have seemingly uh, done a good job of staying alive for now. Oh, that's another great kill. Okay, they're reforming with a lot of soldiers. I think I'm going to go aggressive here, okay? I think we're going to completely reform up our formation, and we're going to take the fight to them. Um, so let's get our archers up here. Both our units are archers, so one squad there, one squad there. The cavalry can continue to harass them as they're fleeing, for sure. We're going to probably have to reform, though, when we're there. Aim should go out of that formation, because you might be able to catch a few more. Probably not. Let's just reform, then. You guys have done your job. I'll clear out this guy. Don't you worry. And I'll probably bring back the cavalry now. Yeah, I'll probably bring back the cavalry myself before we end up losing it all. Okay, so where are we forming up? Infantry here. I want an archer line here. And I want an archer line here. Like, ideally, what we want to do when we've got a full-on, like, a thousand-man stack is I want to make sure that we, we basically just do some, inc like, we do some, like, total war-style battles with, like, maybe, like, three or four groups of infantry all in their own separate formations. I think that'd be so much fun. And something to keep the battles fresh rather than just, like, one big line of infantry, one line of archers. I want to really focus in on having, like, these multiple lines. Okay, we need to make sure that we don't just, like, get a charge off into my line. Okay, you guys form a shield wall again. Oh, I say that, and they're about to get a charge off into my line. Oh, my God, archers, form a, form a square. That is not good. That is so many camels. God damn, these beasts are massive. Luckily, they're lightly armored on these. I think they're using their camels to their advantage in that square very late square formation has absolutely saved me because it's look at them so many of their camels are getting stuck in my formation and my cavalry counter charge is absolutely perfect and then the soldiers that did come through are now hitting onto my infantry line yeah that counter charge decimated them oh my god look at that green look at the green i can roll that one up and smoke it there's so much green there's still 32 of them over here, but that's fine. That square formation on the flank will be great, I think, over time. It should still be able to shoot. The MG are fully committed, so let's get our, our own infantry and tell them to engage. F1, F4. Because you see, guys, right here on the Jackie Fish channel, we don't F1, F3. We F1, F4. And that's the difference between me and you. That's the difference. You F1, F3. I F1, F4. Like a true, sophisticated gentleman. Nice little battle. We should have plenty of prisoners as well. Uh, I guess we'll run down these guys as well. Uh, surrender or die. Um, none of you. Yeah, prisoners. They just surrendered to us, which is nice. We will, of course, take all the food. Because we need food. Oh, it's just all food? Hell yeah. For some reason, we basically just went on like a, a food drought in all of Calradia. It was pretty brutal. Oh, we can usurp them now. Nice. Yeah, usurp. And usurp. Right? Yeah, 100%. We have the uh, influence to do that. And we should be able to usurp all these lordship titles as well now, no? Yeah. So claim, claim, claim. I don't know if I can give away the barony or not. Yeah, I don't know if I can give away this barony, but we could make another lord. Possibly. Um, I think for now we're fine, though. Okay, let's head back. We need, we need to make sure this city doesn't fall. Luckily, it has a 1,300-man garrison, so it's not very likely to fall. But we should go back and make sure we protect it anyway. Yeah, I mean, this is our capital, and it, is, it's, it has over a 1,000 militia in the city. I'm, like, funneling money in to make them safe and self-sufficient. And we also have, what, another 300-man army there? So I think together we'll be fine. If I reinforce that, we should be okay. 
I think they're actually fighting now, so we might actually be lucky enough to not worry about that. Yeah, they're actually currently fighting. Oh, no, the boys are here. Hell yeah. Okay, let's do this. We have rallied the boys. Is this army coming as well or not? No, it's not. Okay. So this is what we've got. I mean, this is a pretty big army. Us together, like united, we've got this. Right? Like, we've got this. Yeah? We'll wait till daytime, obviously. Okay, so it looks like they have roughly, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we have none of them, mainly because of the garrison. We get 260 men from the garrison. And actually, all the other boys are coming in clutch right now. Uh, yeah, so this should be a good victory. A nice little victory. A lot of their kind of minor clans are in this, but nothing too crazy. Let's just dive in. We'll smash this army. And then hopefully go on the offense. I really want to take back this castle and start getting it converted. Start getting it actually like under my culture and the garrison built up. Um, so let's do let's do this. Hopefully a clean victory here. We don't take too many casualties and we can move on. Either way, let's form up our line. Uh, so we're going to get our infantry here. Right, yeah, infantry here. Infantry like here. Archers here. Horses here. I don't think the AI is going to come at me, so we're going to have to go at them. Oh, we also have a bow now as well. Oh, we're in my siege outfit as well for whatever reason. This axe sucks. We need to get rid of this axe. Yeah, they're going to play defensive, which is fine. We can push on them. I guess we're going to take this hill here. They're going to take that hill. We're going to take this hill. And we'll just go from there. Seems fine, though. Okay, the archers are now hammering them. I also do have a bow as well, even though I draw it so slowly. We should be able to start doing some damage to them. How's our infantry line looking? Okay, infantry line can come forward a little bit. Again, I'm very scared of that cavalry charge. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these guys into a shield wall and just stick them here. Like, stick them on this hill. Whenever on the other side, we'll do the exact same. Why not? Um, so yeah, we'll go into a square. And we're going to, like, set up here. So I hope, and our cavalry is going to be ready to counter charge when they slam into my missiles. So hopefully, when they do come in here, like, we'll just, like, take them out completely. I'm going to get these guys into a loose formation, but I'm going to... Wait, who did I just put into a loose formation? Put down these guys. No, square, 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 square. Uh, archers can go into a loose formation. So more of them can shoot. But we will probably tighten up the formation as the battle goes on. Let's do it. So the archers should have a field day now. Uh, volleying off. We should will down their energy massively. I'm also going to get my bow out and just move up a little bit. We are losing a few soldiers here, though. We are taking fire. My bow skill is so bad. I don't mind harassing these guys a little bit. You also level up very fast here as well. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, you gain tons of bow skill. Okay, let's see if our tactic works. Yeah, the thing is, though, our, our axis is not equipped. Like, this is an uh, infantry killing axe. Are they charging into my missiles here? Like, what are they doing? Yeah, I want them to get stuck in. Okay, cavalry get ready to counter charge. Cavalry counter charge now. Cavalry should come in now. Yeah, look at that cavalry go over the hill. Hell yeah, push them back. We can't pursue them far, though. We're going to have to pull back. As soon as we get out of position... Yeah, that was a nice little charge, though. Scared off their cavalry immediately. So far, though, we are winning this. 5 to 21. And look, now look at that. We're already pushing them back. Okay, we'll let them filter in now. The crossbows should be in a good position now to keep on firing. And our empty blocks are defending. I hope it's enough. Start using our axe a little bit here. Uh, okay, I don't know. Cavalry now needs to charge. Crossbows need to be racking up these kills. Yeah, you guys are doing a fine job there. They've got a lot of good soldiers here as well. Cavalry, man. Okay, that's another Imperial soldier taken care of. Yeah, I mean, I, I always... Oh, my, my horse is down. I always underestimate the Imperial Cavalry. I always do. And it always comes back to bite me. Just help out my archers, because we need the archers to be shooting. I mean, Imshi is holding. All right, let's get our cavalry now and charge them into the archers. Cavalry, focus down the archers, please. We can even dismount them if we need to as well.
And I'm going to tell... Do we go... Let's tell our MG to go on the... Uh, to engage. We would also tell them to retreat if we wanted to as well. Good job. My bodyguards are saving me. Keeping me safe. Keep on going down, hit them. I mean, the battle is being won, and we are starting to turn the tides quite a bit now, which is nice. I think now that our square is being a bit more aggressive, you guys also engage. But this guy's armor is thick. Even with, a, like, a good non-handle hit, we're not really killing him. Yeah, I need to replace this weapon. Oh, my God, look at that guy. That guy looks sick. That's the type of poor arm we need. Okay, infantry just hold there. Okay, reinforcements. We're going to need to combine our infantry together, I think. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to toggle them. We're going to F5 them. I'm going to stick them all into group one. We just need one block of infantry, I think. We're going to go into a line and then stick them into a shield wall. And we're going to take our archers and we're going to wrap them around here. We're just going to go a straight up vanilla formation. Okay, let's tell the cavalry now to charge. I'm going to try and level up my bow as much as we can. There's that cavalry charge, though. Oh, my God. They just broke our line. Push them back, you fools. Give them no quarter. We cannot let them get behind us. Where's our cavalry? Where are the reinforcements? There it is. No, there are some of it is. We need more of it. There it is. That's where the winged hussars are. Let's get Sabaton blaring in the background. When the winged hussars arrive. Okay, block that, block that. Okay, cavalry. Oh, that cavalry charge is beautiful. This game is beautiful. Sorry, I have to pause and take a screenshot here because this looks insane. Look at that, man. Oh, my God. This game looks incredible. Look at that cavalry coming in. The swords, the shields. Infantry go on engage mode now as well. So the infantry is now going to be way more aggressive. Start pushing the enemy. We've got them on the run, so why not? Why does he need a little bit of help? Oh my god, where's our infantry? I need help. Uh, really more reinforcements, but our archers are decimating them now. Yeah, I mean, they're getting more soldiers, but I want to make sure that we keep on going aggressive, right? I want to make sure we, we kill as many as possible before they can reform. So, yeah, we'll just reform now, right? Our infantry lines are looking very small for whatever reason. Okay, archers can hold here. Infantry reform here. Yeah, we have, like, next to no... We have tons of cavalry. Then we pull the cavalry back and we just do it again, right? Oh, that was an insane shot as well. And again, remember, as I always say, as they get more reinforcements, they become weaker and weaker. Lower tier units spawn, which makes our life a lot easier. Crossbows, get up here. We need to volley fire. Provide, provide artillery support. Look at our elite little Imshi line holding. The best of the best. The hardest men in Caridia has to offer right here. Man, I love this game sometimes. It's so much fun when you do stuff like this. Absolutely banging content right here. They got more reinforcements. Man, I really do need to try... Again, I know I know a thousand men does does really mess up my computer, but maybe if I try the battle size mod and I have two thousand man battles, we could maybe try that. You know, uh, infantry to be on engaging as well. So it's F one, F one, F four. These poor swords as well, just do not cut it. Uh, but yeah, I, I do really do need to try try get the battle battle size mod to work as well. That should be it, though. I don't think we need to add that. Battle's one. Everybody charge now. Okay, and then we... 
Do it quickly so it doesn't crash. Perfect. Nice. Uh, okay. That was a pretty clean victory, I would say, Gunson. We didn't really lose too many soldiers. So now let's head back. I want to reform my army quickly. Um, and to do that, we're going to... Oh, also a theology lesson. We'll definitely attend that because theology is good. Getting more religious prowess is always nice. Uh, we need to buy some more water. So we're going to do that immediately. Yeah, buy as much water as we can. There's not really a lot here. As I said, look, there's like a food crisis going on right now um, in Cal Radio. I mean, I guess we are in constant war, so it does make sense. Let's also make sure we upgrade everybody we can whilst we're here. Um, and our veterans. Yeah, we'll upgrade all of these guys. And then let's now let's reform our armies. Let's go to the garrison. Let's head everybody over to the garrison. We still have a handful of companions here, which is good. Let's sort everybody out. Um, and as I said, I think I'm just going to go like, I'm going to try like a full on infantry based army. We're just going to take like the best infantry we have access to. And I can recruit a bunch of a white company. And I can recruit a bunch of, do we need more missiles? I just want more infantry. Let's just get more white company. They upgrade into the really good uh, great swords, the pikes. Uh, not great like front, like front line infantry, but really good aggressive, either anti-cavalry infantry or really good two handed infantry. And then what that brings us to, yeah, 200. So we're a little bit over, but that's fine. Whatever. Who cares? I guess we get rid of a few of you guys. One, two, three. Cool. Oh, we also have all these prisoners we need to give up as well. Okay. We can do that. Okay, cool. Our infantry-based army is built and ready to fight. It's not the best in the world, but with hard training and dedication, I think we can make it the best in the world. Okay, so now our goal has to be to take one of these castles, right? We have to go aggressive before someone sieges me again. And we did recently take this castle and then lose it. So I think this is going to be our priority. Yeah, we have a 1,400 man garrison now at the city as well. I dare you to come and take it. Uh, do we need any upgrades here as well? Like, uh, I guess that's also something we should look at uh, managing town. We're currently building a mine, which is built in 13 days. That will help with construction. Okay, can we upgrade the garrison some more? Uh, training field increased experience to garrison troops. I mean, better walls, I guess, is, is what we want to do next as well. So wait, finish up mine. And then add that. Then upgrade the garrison. Why not? And then more militia, sure. Yeah, just something like that. This, this, this should all take not that long to do. We have really good construction here. 85 construction is amazing. Uh, so we should build quickly. Okay, let's set this city under siege. As you can see, they do barely have a garrison here. We did recently siege this, so I'm hoping we can just get a quick siege off here without too much hassle and conquer this and start building up the garrison here and the militia quite quickly before they can relieve the situation. Um, and obviously before one of my other castles and inevitably get siege. So we're not going to probably wait for any equipment. We're just going to go in. We're going to take the castle. Um, and I, yeah, I, the thing is we also need like a bit of a militia here, right? To then build up the, uh, the army. So it doesn't just get taken by another army right away. Because I don't want to have to be stuck here babysitting. Uh, we're going to wait till daytime, of course. And then we're just going to go in, I think. Okay, let's get ready to push up. Uh, I have my bow. Oh, God, I keep on forgetting to actually remove my my axe. I need to get a better weapon for this. We'll just get shooting. Okay, our men are already pushing up. Go, go, go. Oh my god, my guy is like literally collapsed there. It's brutal. The hell with you. Oh, how did I miss? The infantry should make quick work of their infantry line. It's just militia. And it's not really very good militia either. Keep on firing. Yeah, look at the green on the right hand side. We don't have any siege equipment, but we don't really need it with our high quality. And like, yeah, they're literally wearing like rags. They're fighting a professional army in rags, so it ain't going to go in their favor, that is for sure. And even our own archers are up here as well. Nice. And the good thing about, like, firing our bow in here is we're also helping to clear out the breach point as well. The quicker, you know, we take these guys out, the quicker our infantry gets on the walls and they can start you know, clearing out the rest of the soldiers up here. Not that they really need my help, but, you know, if I can clean it up a little bit quicker... Always going to be beneficial. Oh, what a shot that was as well. Somebody just needs to open the gate for me. Oh, and as I say that, they do. We walk in. 
And there we have it. They have a few soldiers, but nothing important. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I just killed one of my own friendly units. Yeah, this settlement was always going to be an easy one to take just because we recently took it, like, last episode. So we're obviously not going to have a lot there to, to kind of counter charge or prevent us. Victory is ours. Uh, oh, nice. These are all good soldiers. The thing is, we only lost two men. Um, I guess I'll take you and be the longbowman. So we are just going to show mercy again. This is a city I want to obviously take for myself. Uh, we want to also make sure that we immediately claim it. Have we already immediately claimed it? I'm not sure if we have. Yeah, we already are usurping it. It just takes time, which is fine. We're also usurping the kingdom of West, the Western Empire <laughs> as well. Uh, we can't recruit anybody, which is fine. Um, I can't do anything here. Okay. Defensive management is fine. We want to immediately... Yeah, low taxes. Uh, enslavement. And we want to go to encourage militia, subsidize militia. And militia focused on melee, I guess. Um, yeah, enlistment, drafting poly. Yeah, conscript. Conscript hard. Okay, cool. So now we've taken this castle. What we want to basically do is keep hold of it and let the militia build up. Let soldiers kind of gain their strength over time. It might not be the worst idea as well to let everybody go off and recruit as well, but I don't want them to die. So we are going to basically probably just stick around here for a little bit. I'm going to go to my city's recruit. Keep our main settlement under our control because there's only like a 40-man a garrison. Um, and yeah, just recruit up where we can. Stick around here. Keep our place nice and safe from any invading armies. But I'm happy we took this. As I said, I really want to take this and this. It looks like we're going to be able to secure this one for ourselves. But we've got a little bit of time to play with, so I'm not in a media rush, honestly. So, yeah, we're going to head north now. Again, we're going to go back to our cities, which like us and recruit some more men, just so that these guys get some recruitment. Feels so minimal, though, but I guess there's not really a lot of soldiers here. Maybe what we want to do is go to our hierarchy. So, you want to go to... No, it's not there. Not there, either. State, No. Okay, I can't maybe... I, oh, because I've probably given them away. That's why. That's fine. I was going to say, it probably goes to my drafting policies. Oh, we also ran out of water as well, which isn't good. Okay, we can sort that out. Um, okay, cool. Now let's head up north, I guess. I mean, I need to get some more water. We're kind of struggling on that. I'm tempted to go back to Valandia, but I also don't want to leave this settlement undefended. Uh, let's maybe head back to Charis just quickly, and then we can rush back if we need to. I can also visit all these settlements as well on the way uh, to buy more water to let people recruit more men as well. And the further we get back to Valandia, the better it will be because they'll be able to recruit even more soldiers as well. So let's uh, yeah, let's head back south. Yeah, let's head back here. No, it's already under siege, right? The Azerai have sieged me down here in the south. Oh, man, it's, it's an endless battle. But all we can do is take what we, we get, basically, you know? We expected this to be brutal. And brutal it is. Uh, we have to go south then. We have enough water. We don't even have enough water, man. That's insane. We have to go down and south and defend our settlement. So what can men do against such reckless hate? Let's grab all this water. Uh, the four barrels. Going into the desert with a lack of water supply, I feel like it's never a good idea. But it's something we're going to have to do regardless, I guess. Uh, as I cannot let these settlements fall. They are the keystone to my formation. Okay, so it looks like we didn't get here on time. Unfortunately, they were enough to, to engage us. And we've actually lost this settlement, which is really bad. This is like an important settlement for us to hold. Uh, I don't think it stops our usurpation process. But even still, this is bad news uh, for sure. Because that's going to really actually start to hurt our economy. You can see, yeah, we lost about 10 grand there as well. We need to take the city back. And they're just going to be building up the garrison even more and more now. I don't really have the quality to take it. And we're running out of water as well. Oh my god, this war was not a good idea. How many men do they have left in the garrison? Okay, we've only left 82 men to defend it. So we're going to let them go off and we're going to swoop back around and hopefully take it. Nowhere else is under siege, right? Nope. Okay, cool. And they still haven't taken the garter yet. Come on. Okay, let's wrap around. Hopefully they're busy going off after a different settlement. Oh, Durha is there as well. Durha only has 200 men as well. Okay, Durha, be my distraction. Or so I come in here and quickly try and siege it. Because they only have 90 men. So we should be able to snipe this if we're quick enough. 
They're coming back. 400 men I don't care about. And they're already sieging both my settlements already. Oh my god, this is hell. There's so many of them. This is important to take back. The castle I don't care about. My capital has 1,400 men defending it. That's not falling. We need to take this back. I should be able to just auto-resolve this one as well. So we're going to drop a save. And hopefully we can just auto-resolve it. But the problem is when the garrison goes away. And that's what's keeping us alive right now. Oh, man. These wars. I mean, he would have thought fighting like 70,000 troops is hard. Is this, is this bad? Ah, uh, no, good. Like, this is like such a total war auto-resolve. You either get completely destroyed by the auto-resolve or it's a super kind to you. Uh, we also got soldiers as well. Where she can't have this many men either. Probably could we lost the settlement, right? Oh my god. At least a lot of these guys upgraded. This is I think we need to upgrade them now. We need quality in the army. Over here we want voyeurs, I think. Uh, pikes are good, actually. And then here. I'm going to get more great swords. I think we're going with more bills. Let's do that. I will take all the experience on our new soldiers. That's a cool looking sword as well. And we get this by law because it's it's we have it by law. Nice. Uh, yeah, definitely take it already. Good, good, good. Nice. Um, do we need to do anything else with it? Luckily, oh, I think I think maybe the religion like immediately got like pushed back as well. Losing this was just bad. Okay, cool. So we, we've just dropped off a bit of a garrison here. We have roughly around about 200 men in the garrison here. I'm hoping it's going to be enough. They have plenty of food, so they should be okay. Now, we, now we've taken this back uh, and we've lifted the siege here. We now need to head north. As I said, I wouldn't mind. Let's see if we can peace out with the Azerai now. Because if we can kind of lock down this front and then head north, that's like 26,000 soldiers we don't have to fight anymore. So let's actually go to the diplomacy. Uh, and head over to the here. Azarai. If we were to propose it, we'd have to pay tribute. But tribute across many lords isn't really an issue. God, I, I hate the peace negotiation in this in this game so much. It's so silly. Like, look at the status. It's like an even war. And we have to pay them seven grand. Oh, we can't even do it. We need to fight for another day and then we can. Okay. I think it's worth it, though. I think it's worth piecing out with them, honestly. Okay, guys. So I think that's what we're going to wrap up the episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. It was a pretty interesting episode. We basically played whack-a-mole with a lot of uh, their lords. And we've already lost this castle again. We basically just need to piece out with the Azurai, which I think we can now do. I'm going to see if we can. But yeah, if we can piece out with the Azurai, uh, I want to piece out with the Western Empire. I don't want to do that. I want to piece out with the Azurai. Because the Western Empire I want to take land from is the problem. Peace out with these guys. Boom. Done. Nice. So now we don't have to worry about them in the south. Which is big. It's 22,000 men we don't have to fight now. I don't want to end up... You know, then we can maybe... If I can take my castle... Yeah, then if we can take our castle back here before... Before they force us to peace out. That would be huge as well. Oh my god. There's so many soldiers. I mean, it makes sense, right? They're attacking us. Everything they have. Oh, man, I'd love to escape back inside the settlement defend. They're attacking right now, right? God damn, that is brutal. But yeah, this is going to be for next episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. And uh, yeah, hopefully, there's only a couple more episodes until we make our own kingdom. It seems like Valandia is completely stretched across everywhere. So this could be a big time for us to actually go independent if we wanted to. Um, I just want this castle before we do. I want this castle before we do. It secures our lands.